Good morning. This is the video on multiplication and division uh, vocabulary. Um, we're going to start out this morning. If you have your colored pencils, uh, we're going to bubble each term and discuss it and go over the definition. Okay. The first one is multiplication. Eight times five is a multiplication problem. That means you have eight groups of 45. Okay, so what we did was draw a strip diagram where we drew eight groups of 45 for a picture or example to represent this. All right, over here the definition says making equal groups to find the total. Remember those words, to find the total. That means your answer is going to go up. Anytime you're looking for the total, your answer goes up. Equal groups is the clue that it's going to be multiplication. All right, in multiplication, you're gonna have factors and products. And you notice I highlighted these with two different colors. Um, factors are the numbers in the equation, okay? And just like a, when you go to Walmart, you get a product that's made by at the factory, don't you? So just remember the factors make the product. Now the product is the answer in a multiplication problem. So factors are the numbers being multiplied and the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. All right, the next one is partial products. Now partial products, partial, the root word in partial is part. Product is, of course, the answer. So, the, you get a partial product by breaking a number down in a two expanded form. As you see, they've done 25 times three here. They've broken down 25 into 20 plus five, and they put it in parentheses. The first thing you're gonna do is three times five and get 15. Then you're, they're gonna do three times 20 and get 60. Now, a great way to look at three times 20 is, remember your zeros rule. You can take three times two, excuse me, you can take three times two and that's six and stick a zero back on it and that's 60. Then you add these back together and it makes the total of 75. So 25 times three is 75. So once again, partial product means that the parts of the product that you found when you multiply by the expanded form of a number. All right, and then the next one is an array. Now we wrote area model formula for under array because an array is in the form of an area. An area equals length times width. So once again, we have four going down this way, sorry, and four across the top. So that means this equation would be four rows of four or four times four. Now, the way you find area is length times width. Well, isn't that the same as, it, as the array? Absolutely, all right? So once again, array and area model are the same. An array is a rectangular model of a multiplication problem. And then the last one is area model. An area again equals length times width, okay? Now, area model means, again, you're, you're breaking a number. We take 35 times four. You're breaking 35 into 30 plus five and multiplying it by four, and that is area model. You get each area and then you add them together, so. Area model or models multiplication by showing the two factors as the length and the width of the rectangle. Now, take your colored pencils and you may 
uh, do your copy yours like mine. If you'll stop the video right now, it'll give you a good idea of what the whole thing looks like as you're color coding your vocabulary page.